Alrighty, so I'm going to be showing you how to install uh, this web panel that I created. Uh, it worked well for my server and I just stopped using it, so you know, I decided to release it. So, uh, right here, you're going to go to github.com slash statsiv slash web panel. I'll put it in the description. I'll put all the links in the description that you're going to need. Uh, yeah, you download that. I already have it downloaded, but I'll, you know, I'll just do it again just for the heck of it. Okay, and then you're also going to want to have uh, IDSQL. Uh, the reason for this is that I'm bad at SQL, so I couldn't make an SQL script that could just make a new column that uh, is for the uh, web panel, for this web panel. So uh, you need to have XAMPP too. I expect you to have XAMPP since you're downloading this web panel. So uh, in XAMPP, you usually have your MySQL uh, started. So you and also your Apache for the admin for MySQL. So you you have these two on, but uh, now you're gonna want to go to uh, your your C drive here, where and then go to Zamp, and go to HT Docs, and then uh, here I'll delete this because it won't matter. Uh, right here, just drag in the web panel. So I'll just do that right here. By the way, this SQL script doesn't work. I, I couldn't figure it out. And I didn't feel like figuring it out. So, yeah. Right there, we could just go to our browser and type in localhost. And that should, you know, get you into the web panel here. Let me get this out of here. So, uh, this is the login page right now. It's not configured to our database. By default, it should be. But for some times, uh, for some people, it probably won't. So, go to your config.php it's gonna be in the ink folder right here uh, and this is where all your variables are gonna be that you want to change for your thing so how this is web panel you could change this to whatever you want I'll just call it admin just to ch demonstrate the stuff it changes uh, this is the login info for the uh, info for the database so just fill that out usually this is by by default uh, this, is, uh, this is your server image logo thing ht dot oh yeah image I have that right there so it's pulling it from there and uh, your permission level so what this right here this is an integer this is the permission level so how there is is it's like one through five or one through six in essential mode so you just put that whatever whatever this number is greater than is what uh, if the person has this then they'll be able to have the admin panel which can control a lot of things and yeah that's basically it so uh, yeah I'll just save that and see it changes to admin so now we have to configure it so the password or so there's a password column in our database so right here I'm gonna go to uh, our database here uh, this is this is a database that I use for my old server it, it doesn't matter I don't really care I already covered all those out so uh, right here you're gonna want to I'm gonna actually clean this out here. Uh, this is why I have IDSQL because I have no idea how to use uh, or actually do SQL scripts. All I know how to do is Heidi. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. So just save that. All right. So now what your database should look something like this. Probably less. I don't know. I was messing around with ESX, so I have a lot of stuff in here. Just add a new column and call it password. Make sure it's exactly like this. That's it. Far char, keep it like that. Uh, I keep this to 50. I don't really know, you know, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the default value, make it custom and set it to password. So what that does is anyone that has, anyone that wants to log in, they can log in with their username and they usually have a permission level of zero so they can just see their info. That's it, only their info. And that's basically it. That's kind of how you set that up. So. Uh, yeah, so let's say your name is in the database. So my name is, we'll, we'll use test right now, okay? So test, here I'm gonna type that test in here, and then the password is all set to, to password right now. Uh, I'm gonna see what permission level is there. I'll, I'll change this to zero permission level, which is all configured by the essential mode. So right now this is password, and I'll type in password. So it's gonna it's gonna log in and you can see that all of your uh, 
all of your info for this from the database is pulled into here and it's all like polished I guess I don't know it doesn't, it doesn't really look that polished you know yeah so that's just your information right there if I were to change like uh, the amount of money I have for test uh, to like that much and then and then refresh it it'll change so I'm gonna log out and uh, give give uh, or we'll, we'll just log into uh, my account here which has a permission level of let's see nine 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 okay so that's greater than three okay so we can just type in the password what is the password its password so every admin that has permission level over three you're gonna want to change their manually change their password so anyone that just wants to go into their account can do it but if you were to change it then they won't know the password so I guess it's just it's kind of insecure but you know you know, live with it I don't really care um, so I'll call I'll call this the password admin right here so now the password for Zua is admin if I can do that yeah I'm gonna log in and now we have the admin panel so it says your permission over right here it says your name and this is the ooh, yeah this is right here is all the uh, database so everyone's license is in here so you could scroll down and see everyone's information this is a lot of blank stuff but these are real people too and it might not echo all of them out but you know it's fine because this is just a experiment that's cool so uh, right now we have Zua right here so if we were to change one SQL value which is I'm going to show you how to do that so right now we're, we're just going to want to take the identifier so it says change player stats take the identifier uh, so I'm going to take my my steam ID here and then I'm going to in the column name I'm going to put like let's say I want to change jobs we can manually change my job here so make sure it's whatever is um, in the database whatever it's actually called like job underscore grade make sure you type that out instead of like this I just put that there just to make it look uh, like more readable I probably shouldn't have done that but you know it is what it is uh, so I'm gonna change this to um, or actually I just want to change let's just change uh, my bank balance or my money because I don't feel like doing anything else uh, I'll change it to 5 or 56 change that and now in here it says 56 here it should say 56 yeah right here so it changed it uh, it changed the value of your money through this web panel you can log out and it'll it'll just bring you back to the beginning and uh, yeah that's basically how you use the uh, web panel it's pretty nice it's good for you know not having to go into the server manually and uh, yeah that's basically it now if you have a web server instead of using like XAMPP you have to add a user for your MySQL you should just know how to do that Google it if you don't and uh, just change the server or the database info to what's corresponding as your user for the database and it should connect make sure your web server has PHP functions enabled it might not work I haven't tested it myself I just been using XAMPP and it works fine um, so yeah it it should work on a web server I don't know why it wouldn't you just need PHP functions so yeah that, that's basically this web panel you can toggle that too I forgot and uh, yeah I hope, hope you guys enjoyed it